What a trip. Coming up, while most Californians had their eyes safely focused on the sun, emergency managers throughout the state were keeping their eyes on the state's power grid. We'll show you what happened behind the scenes when the sun faded, impacting critical power supplies. Plus, yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll take you on a mission in space to get reaction from this well-known NASA astronaut and hear why his life depended on having a plan when disasters strike. And speaking of, we'll teach you the three simple steps everyone should take as California kicks off National Preparedness Month. Monday, August 21st, traveling at a speed of 2,100 miles an hour, a rare solar eclipse makes its journey across the United States west to east. All across California, people were enjoying the views and watched the eclipse safely. And thanks to you, last week's show on eclipse safety was seen by over 100,000 people and they took notice, making sure they had NASA approved glasses or they made their own do-it-yourself kits to view the eclipse. One of those who got to see the eclipse from the path of totality, well-known former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. And we got a chance to talk with Mike about his experience on Tuesday. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was, uh, I was in Charleston uh, along the path just before the, the, the eclipse exited the, uh, the country and went out over the ocean. And uh, it, was, it was really cool. In just a few moments, you'll hear more from Mike. But first, what effect did the eclipse have on California's massive power grid? The California Independent System Operator spent the eclipse closely monitoring the solar energy charts. And you can see the clear dip at the peak of the eclipse around 10.15 a.m. But lower than usual temperatures and months of planning combined to ease California through the crunch with no problems at all. And speaking of preparedness, September is National Preparedness Month nationwide. It's when federal, state, and local public safety officials urge you to take steps to be prepared for everything from earthquakes to floods to wildfires and even things you haven't thought about. Just ask astronaut Mike Massimino. He says every spacewalk he took had something go wrong. Nothing goes according to the plan. And uh, sometimes it's some little and sometimes it's bigger things, but always something happens that you, you, know, that you didn't expect. And every time you think you've seen everything, well, you really haven't. As long as we did whatever we could to prepare ourselves to be ready and to have whatever we needed to be ready for whatever emergency or every predicament we could be in, um, that was the best we could do. We've got an extended version of our interview with former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino online. You can find it at oesnews.com. And as Mike said, there's a lot you can do to be prepared. We recommend starting with these three steps. First, build an emergency kit. Make sure that you and your family has emergency kits stocked with items such as flashlights, water, batteries, first aid supplies, all are good starters. Most are inexpensive items and easy to find and any one of them could save your life. Second, make a family emergency plan. You and your family may not be together if disaster strikes, so it's important to know how you'll contact one another. Establish a family meeting place that's familiar and easy to find and make sure everyone knows how and when to call 911 for help. And third, be informed. Know what disasters could affect your area, and in California that includes everything from earthquakes, fires, floods, and even tsunamis. And know where to get alerts. Check with your local public safety agency websites to see how they keep you informed before, during, and after a disaster. You can find easy step-by-step -step guides that save you time by visiting ready.gov and our preparedness pages online at Cal OES. And there's also a lot of free resources available at preparedness events in your local community. If you're in Northern California, we invite you and your family to join us Saturday, August 26th, as we kick off National Preparedness Month in Old Sacramento. That's it for this edition of Inside Look for all of us here at Cal OES. I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.